What's up guys? It's a very special day today. I'm going to be starting a new YouTube series whereby I go in the search of London's best burger. Over the past few years, the burger scene in London has been absolutely kicking off. And there's so many I've not tried, so many which I want to try. So first of all, I'm going to start off Bleecker Street. We're in the old Spitalfields Market. I've never been there before, but I've heard good things. So let's go and see what it's all about. Asked if I wanted a single or a double, so I went for the double, has to be done. Truth, the moment of truth, open it up, pop it open. I hope they presented it nicely. Oh, yes, that looks rather good, doesn't it? The logo there still. So we went for the double, the bacon, the cheese. So far looks very good. It's not too big either, that's important for me. I want to be able to eat this burger and not for it to go all over the place. It's good. There's not too much in it, it's just simple ingredients. Burger, cheese, bacon, nice soft bread. I'm happy with that. Every bite is so satisfying. was unbelievable. Next stop is literally just around the corner. There's a load of these in the UK. Gourmet Burger Kitchen. I've been there a couple of times, but a few burgers on the menu which I've not tried, so I'm gonna share my experience with you today. I'm spoiled for choice here, really. I feel as though it's my duty to get one of the recommended ones from the, the GBK crew. So the option of getting the taxi driver, the mighty, or the major tom. Oh god, and then I got the choice of the chicken as well. Ooh, it's getting a bit moody in here. The lights are going down. So I've been here a couple of times before. It's always been very good. The last time I think I was actually here, I had a Christmas special burger, like some kind of a Santa Claus thing, but it was a double patty. As far as I remember, it was pretty epic, so I have high expectations for this one. Right, so I've gone for one called the Major Tom, which is a 30-day dry-aged steak patty. Blue cheese slaw, crispy bacon, red Leicester cheese, beef ketchup and dill pickle. And I've gone and put a fried egg on top. That was an optional thing. Hopefully it's all gonna go well, but most of the time when I have an egg on a burger, it usually hits the spot. So, it's looking good. It's not too big. I don't think it's gonna get too messy either. Choice. It was a good choice, Michael. Well done. We also have another one. This one's not for me, it's for my cameraman. He's gone for double chicken classic. It's so pink. It's so beautiful.
So he had another very satisfying burger. No surprises really being there before. You know it's gonna be good when you get something from here. When I put the egg on top of that, it felt like it was a real kind of brunch burger, some kind of a breakfast burger. Very satisfying. It's the sort of thing I'd have after a night out. Obviously when you get the egg and when the egg yolk pops, it just goes so well with the burger. It gets a little bit messy, but very, very impressed. On to the next one. So here we are, Dirty Burger. Got some funky music playing in the background. Never been here before, let's go check it out. Burger from Mikkel. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this. Look at that. So we've got a bit of pulled pork in there. I like the symmetry. I like how it's, it's perfectly round. Dirty. It's not as dirty as I think it'd be. Good addition. Let's see. I've got a bit of lettuce in here. Not really doing anything. No tomato. I don't think. No. It's good. I'm not a fan of the bread. The bread's a bit plain. Can't say I'm massively blown away, but it's good. It's like the bread is really dry. I'm not hating on it though. Still a good burger. I was being a bit too critical about it. It is a good burger. It is good. It's just lacking something. This is what life is all about really, just walking around London on a Sunday, eating burgers. So, final place on today's episode is Honest Burgers. I think there's a load of them in London. I've been there once before, but it was a long time ago, so I'm gonna see if their menu has changed and see what's on offer. Oh, it's so honest. So I was thinking of getting a chicken burger because I've had beef for all the other ones today, but the waitress is really selling me on today's special, which apparently is all about bacon. Bacon, bacon, some more bacon, and a topping of bacon. Look, they're teasing me to double up as well. I don't know if I've got room to double up on the fourth burger of the day. So first impression is quite good, it is a rather aesthetic looking burger, the proportions are very nice, I like the smoothness of the bun, honestly sometimes I don't really like it when they put sesame seeds all over it, this soft, the anticipation is, is high, what else have we got in here? I can already get a whiff of the pungent cheese. That being said though, this was supposed to be a bacony bacon burger and there's only one strand of bacon, so I'm disappointed by the amount of bacon which is in this burger. Oh, we've got some pickle there. Excuse me, I thought it'd be more bacon. This is supposed to be the baconiest bacon burger ever and I have one strand of bacon. Yes, please. More bacon. <laughs> Extra bacon. Now this, this is more like it. Right, 
right then. Ooh. Really good, look how pink that is. That's how you want your patty to be. That's good that. Mm. This is top two of the day. Getting the extra bacon was definitely worth it. You see, sometimes in this world, if you don't ask, you don't get. You may as well ask, you never know when you might get back. Let's get a bacon burger. Look at that. Look at that. Juicy. So there we go guys, that is the end of episode one. I can't squeeze any more burgers into this one. There's gonna be more to come in future episodes. I'm not gonna rate them all until the very last episode. That's when I'll give my full breakdown of each one and what my winners are for this series. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon.